Mr. Sean Wilson, he is the State of Louisiana Secretary of Transportation. Mr. Sean, how are you doing this morning? I'm well. Good morning to both of you. How are you doing? Uh, let's start. Let's start with the T word. Yeah, yeah. You transportation. <laughs> you think Louisiana should increase its gas tax? D- did I read that article correctly? Am I? Am I, you tell me what you think? Well, I will tell you what I think. Okay. I think Louisiana should invest more dollars in transportation infrastructure. Now, is gas tax the only way to go? Uh, I'll be the first to tell you absolutely not. Is it the most sustainable way to go? I will tell you that it is the most probable way from a short-term perspective that you will be able to do that. I will also tell you that our gas tax in Louisiana has not adjusted since 1989 and that it has lost half of its value. And so while you're paying 16 cents per gallon, that 16 cents is only worth about 50 percent of that or seven cents today. And the cost of construction and the cost of operations has increased anywhere from 12 to 15 percent. And as I travel the state, I hear our citizens say we should do more. The roads are bumpy. The roads are not as smooth. We need a new bridge here. We need a new bridge there. The reality is I can't give it to you with the revenue stream that we have today. We have to have additional dollars regardless of where it comes from. And in transportation, you can't spend it all at one time, and you can't rely on just one-time revenue. I've looked at a chart this morning that showed 10 years ago we were spending $1.7 billion a year just in construction. Just in construction. Today we're only spending $600 million because of one-time money. And that drop from $1.6 billion down to $600 million, that's a drop in jobs. That's an increase in traffic and congestion, and it's an increase in uh, our economic disincompetitiveness, our, our economic disincentives in terms of the ability to attract businesses to our state. We so, have a, we have a lot of folks listening to you that say the Texas tax rate is about the same as ours and their roads are 100% better. Either there's corruption in our state or they're doing something better than we are. How do you respond? I respond to you by saying Texas is spending 2 to $3 billion in addition to the gas taxes out of their general revenue. That's what they're going to be spending. Texas is going to spend more on designing roads than I'm going to spend on constructing roads because they don't fund it with just the gas tax. So Texas is going to be comparable to us in terms of gas tax, but Texas also has millions and millions of more people than we do. Houston has more people than Louisiana. But I could also say, pardon me, that we have miles and miles and miles of fewer roads, too, right? Um, I would disagree with that. So uh, while we may have fewer miles on par, look at what the state actually owns and what our responsibilities are. Texas has a lot more miles, but they have a lot more toll roads. And those toll roads actually cost more to maintain than a regular road does because you have to have a level of service higher for a premium fee for a premium service. And so when you look at every other state around the country, you can't compare Louisiana to Texas or to Virginia or to Florida or to Mississippi because of the conditions of the road, because of the number of bridges we have. We are number five in the country for bridge deck surface area in the entire country. That's perhaps more than a large state like Texas or California in terms of the bridge deck. And I have to maintain that. So when you compare us, look at the big picture to say, what is Louisiana doing differently than Texas? I will tell you, Texas is putting more general fund dollars that's available to them in transportation that is far better, far more than what their gas tax is generating. I know you're doing things right now, but there's lots of folks who say we we, we have wasted a lot of money. There's been graft, corruption, et cetera, in the past. Do you agree with that, or could we do things better, and are we? Well, I will tell you in my 12 years at the department, and I don't know how many audits, we have not been found to be wasteful. We have not been found to be corrupt, and I've not seen... Uh, one person in our building wastes resources to the degree that creates the opportunity to say we're being wasteful and we're any different than any other state. Is the amount that you would want to increase the state gas, to, is that a negotiable number to you? Well, and, and, and over time, 
would, in your mind, would it have to increase even more? Well, the answer is, does it have to increase? It has to be comparable to our needs. So in Louisiana, we've got $13 billion of unmet needs. That does not include the new products or the new projects that we want to build. And so when you ask me what that dollar is, I'm not going to set that amount. I'll make a request. I will make a policy decision of what you need to make your system better and work. But pardon me, Mr. Sean, when a state official says whatever you give me is never going to be enough, uh, that, that it, at least that's how I kind of hear it. That's kind of a scary thing to hear, don't you well, think? Well, no, it, you know, it's funny because I just spoke with a, an individual about a project that will take us about 10 years based on the amount of money that we can spend. If I had more dollars to spend on that project, I could probably give it to you in five. I might be able to give it to you in three. But if I have to use the resources I have today, it's going to take you 10 to 12 years to get it to you. And so here's what we're doing differently. 12... 19 other states in this country have a rate that keeps up with inflation. Louisiana's rate has lost 50 percent of its value. So if you look at what other states are doing, they're adjusting their revenue source to keep up with the times. In 1989, it cost $29, I believe, to go to Disney World for one day, one pass. Today, that's $89 Mm -hmm. for one day, for one kid, for one pass at Disney World. Louisiana has lost 50 percent of its value. In the private sector, that doesn't happen. And so folks say they want Louisiana to run like a business. I don't know that we have to be a business to generate profits. We provide a service to the citizens. We provide a level of performance to the citizens. And if we don't keep up with inflation, if we don't keep up with the cost of construction, we can't be asked to deliver those same things. And so if the legislature saw fit to give us 10 cents, thank you. We're going to do the best we can with it. If the legislature saw fit to give us 20 cents. Thank you. We're going to do the best we can with it. But we want to manage the expectations. In 1990, we gave us four cents extra. Those four cents were for 16 projects. We've only built 14 of them, and that money is obligated with debt service until 2045. And so I want to spend it the right way. I want, to suspend, I want to spend it in a way that's sustainable, but I also want to manage expectations. So we can't assume that if I only got five cents that I can fix everybody's roads and everybody's problems. That's not practical. You said our, our tax is 16. I'm looking at a chart so showing we're 20. Is there some discrepancy? Is that four cents go somewhere else? The, the four cents is, is for debt service that's going to be spent. That's that four cents that we paid for in 1990. Okay. And that four cents is used to pay for 16 projects. 14 of them are done. We borrowed against that four cents. So that entire four cents is going to be used to pay the bonds out until 2045, 2050. But guess what? Today, the debt service is more than four cents because that four cents wasn't indexed. And so it's like you having your, your own revenue source, and you're going to go buy something, but it's not going to keep up with the times, and your debt service is going to continue to mount. So I'm going to spend all of that four cents today on debt service and then an additional penny out of debt service. And that's our problem, and it's going to grow Mm. because we didn't do it the right way. It wasn't indexed. In the last, since 2012, 23 other states have increased their gas tax, and 19 states have done it so that it will keep up with inflation and you're not back in this hole again. Mr. Sean, pardon me. you're, You're a government official, a state official. In a red state, want to increase taxes. You think you got a shot? I got a shot just like 23 of those other states that did it because half of those are red states. Half of those are governors. In the, in the state of New Jersey, Governor Chris Christie just increased the gas tax by 23 cents in the state of New Jersey. And so the needs are there. Transportation is historically a bipartisan issue. We're doing exactly what the citizens have asked the governor and the department to do, was to put more dollars on roads, in infrastructure, where it matters. And so, yeah, I think we've got a shot. If we don't have a shot, as a citizen, we all should be concerned. And the other thing I will tell you is where those states have increased gas taxes, 92 percent of the individuals who ran for re-election that voted for it got re-elected. So citizens will reward elected officials for investing in infrastructure because this is not a wasteful program. This is something that you need every day to get to the hospital, to get to school, to get to business, to get to work. It's, it's a no-brainer for me.